This is the sound of a city being crushed. Syrian government shells slamming into the town of Kusir. From a distance, this strategic city appears shrouded in gun smoke. The worst shelling activists say since the government began an offensive more than three weeks ago. CNN cannot verify the authenticity of these YouTube videos, but their message is clear. Kassir is besieged by Assad and Hezbollah's forces, this activist says. Please God help us. Where are the Arabs? Where are the Muslims, he pleads. Another activist, Hadi Abdullah, narrates his trip to the front line. They have destroyed two tanks. They will show us a second tank. The third tank is trying to pull the dead and injured from the two tanks. But as Abdullah returns from the front line, runs across open ground, those behind him not so lucky. Caught in a shell blast. His reaction? I can't imagine what's happened to them, he says. The regime shot at us. As the dust settles, they discover two fighters were killed. At the makeshift medical center, there is chaos. Injured fill every space. This is a real war in Kusea, the doctor shouts above the cries of pain. More than a hundred injuries this day, and we don't have much material. Look at the difference a year makes. The same doctor, the same town 14 months ago. Only he seems years younger. Medical supplies not so scarce. Smuggled along this vital rebel supply line from neighboring Lebanon. The town, although mostly surrounded by regime forces, relatively unscathed. Back then, local leaders planned for the worst, how to feed the estimated 30,000 civilians living there. Now their worst fears appear to be coming true, a government offensive to drive them out once and for all. against the mightier military force. They say they are holding out. The question is, for how long? Nick Robertson, CNN, Hatay, Turkey.